back to my channel my name is Pilumi if it's your first time coming across my channel you're welcome on this channel I share sewing and crafts DIY videos so if you're into that kind of content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on notification bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos which is every week <laughs> so yeah so today is a slow sewing vlog I want to make a tool skirt my birthday is next week um today is a sunday the sunday it's 17th of january my birthday is next week and uh i want to make a tool skirt um i've never worked with tool before but i'm hoping it'll be uh it'll work out fine <laughs> i got this ooh, beautiful tool black tool that has some sort of shimmer on it gonna be at the top it is so beautiful I love it in the case I saw it I was already walking out of the store I took the plain black black too and I was already walking out so I was like I need this black too this particular one so I went back and got this one um, I got six meters of this I think it would be enough <laughs> I got six meters of this oh I still have the receipt so I can tell you the prices and I got it from a fabric store called Fiona's in Johannesburg not sponsored but <laughs> that's where I got the fabrics from and they were quite quite affordable I think so um, this black tool here I think is 22 rand per meter and I got six meters then I got hard net or hard tool you can see this one is, is stiffer and harder I got three meters of this and this was 22 also I think 22 and then I got taffeta I wanted to get satin but taffeta has more structure than satin um, so I got taffeta just so I, I can get more fullness in the skirt so I got three meters of taffeta plain black taffeta fabric and then uh, our taffeta was 28 rand <laughs> And then I got crinoline. I think it's also called horse hair. Um, I know it as horse hair. So when I went to the store, I was like, I want horse hair. I think mean, I was like thinking I was talking about like hair piece. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, crinoline. And I was like, oh, okay. But it, they didn't have black crinoline. So I chose uh, navy blue, which is going to be inside anyway. It's not going to be seen. So I didn't think it was that. Um, I didn't need to be that specific so I got crinoline I got um, three meters of crinoline as well and this was 10 rand a meter so that's all I need for my tool skirt um, also elastic band okay so I got my elastic I couldn't get plain black elastic so that is as thick as this one and the width so I got this gold one which I've used in my video before um, so I'm going to use the plain black side of it uh, and so yeah that's all I need <laughs> from my sewing machine and thread and everything so I really hope this goes well I wanted to add a zip but I'm like for someone who's working with tool for the first time probably adding the zip isn't a good, you know, a good uh, option so let's go with a simpler one which is adding an exposed elastic band <laughs> okay so I'm going to start working with the sparkly tool I think I need to iron it it's just a lot to iron i'm not sure how i want to go about this actually um but in terms of measurement i want my skirt to be 24 inches long and i want to use the entirety of this six meters to have a really full skirt um so what i want to do because this what i want to do is fold this over like so Widthwise, right? It is 60 inches wide. That's the width of the fabric. I'm not in focus. I don't think so. All right, so 60 inches. So when I fold that, I get 30. So that's perfect for the length because I might have to still trim it. So I'm not gonna really cut much. So what I want, I'm going to gather on my sewing machine along this end, all the way to the end. It's gonna be a lot of gathering. But yeah, that's what I want to do. So I want to see how poofy just using this spackle fabric will be first before determining if I need to put the soft tone underneath it. So 
So I've sewn two rows of basting stitch, which I'm gonna gather later. But right now I want to cut open the hem of the dress. So to make it easy, I wanna fold the fabric to like the smallest possible width. And then I'm just gonna cut a straight line um, to make my skirt 20, 24 inches long. Yeah? So I have allowance at the top for the waistband. So I'm continuing with my skirt today and I have gathered it to the hip circumference, to my hip circumference, it's 40 inches and then I also left about 2 inches on each side so that I can hem it later on but basically this is how it is and I think it's really full and I haven't even added the crinoline or the hat tool going to add the hat tool anymore the hat net because it's the perfect fullness for me right now um, and once I add the crinoline to the half circle skirt as the lining it will give it an extra fullness um, I'm really actually surprised that six meters of double layered tool is full enough <laughs> I mean, because this is not really really soft it's it has some texture um, but it's not as hard as the hard net So we'll see so right now I'm gonna show you how to cut the half circle skirt and then we'll add the crinoline and then join the tools the tool skirt and the half circle skirt together and then hem it Not hem it close up the sides and then add the elastics. It's quite simple actually um I'm excited <laughs> let's continue <laughs> okay so let's do some quick mats um, so for the half circle skirt I need to divide my hip circumference not my waist circumference because it's an elasticated skirt so it needs to be to pass up, pass up my hip so I'm gonna be using my hip circumference and I will be dividing that by 3.142 so let's do that. So 40 divided by 3.142. So my my radius, not radius, my diameter is 12.7 inches. I'm gonna round that up, including seam allowance. I'm just gonna get 13 inches. So let's get right into cutting. What I'm gonna do now is join the sides together and close it up with half an inch seam allowance. I have joined the side seams together or have closed up the side seams. Jeez. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna do for the two skirt as well. Just place both ends together, both sides together, and um Okay, so what I want to do next is attach the skirt to the tool. So I'm placing it wrong side to wrong side, right? So making sure that this seems, the side seams match. And what I'm going to do is just pin the waist together. Making sure I'm stretching sort of the ruffles as I go. Okay, so I'm done pinning the waistband. No, 
I'm not putting the lining to the tool skirt and I'm gonna just sew around making sure that I'm adjusting the gathers and the waist properly as I you know sew. Okay, so I'm done attaching the lining to the tool skirt. And what I want to do now is clean up these edges and also to reduce the seam allowance. So I'm going to overlock it using my overlocker. Okay, this is the situation right now. Overlocked. Hi guys, so we're back again in the making of my tool skirt. I started this on Sunday and today is Wednesday and I think we are almost done. We are almost done. So the last thing I did was to join the two to the lining and then just um, overlock the, the waistline. So what I want to do today is add the crinoline, the horse hair braid to the hem of the ether, to the lining. And Okay, so this is the front of my skirt and when I open it up, I can see my lining. So for me, this is the right side of my, li my lining fabric and what I'm going to do is pin the horse hair to the um, right side of the, interf the lining. I don't know I keep saying interfacing. Okay, so the trick to um, attaching horse hair braid properly is not to stretch it. And you can easily stretch it when you're sewing if you don't pin it. So I would always advise that you pin the horse hair braid and as you pin, make sure you're not stretching. No. So just place it close to the edge of the hem and just pin okay so I have sort of gotten to the end and I have just a little bit of crinoline left and I bought three meters if I remember correctly so um, it's just the perfect limb but, but I don't want to cut it so I'm gonna just you know overlap it Okay, so usually you'd know you would just cut it right here, like an inch away from where you started, but I have just a little bit left, so I'm just gonna like just continue to the other end. Okay, so I'm gonna start right from where I started attaching the crinoline, and so at half an inch seam allowance. Okay, so I have sewn up my crinoline and to finish it up, I'm just going to turn it this way and push push the crinoline in and pin it. I'm going to just do that all around, just making sure that it's still flat. Well, if you didn't stretch your crinoline, then yeah, it should still be flat. But um, just wanna pin that in place. And then after pinning, I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and sew at the top right here with half an inch seam allowance. We can just sew as close to the edge as you possibly can to just secure it in place. And that's it. The crinoline will be attached. Okay, so it's time to attach the elastic band. I have this elastic. I'm gonna use the plain black side and it's the length of my waist. And so I'm gonna attach it together like this using a zigzag stitch. Okay, so I've joined my elastic together. I'm gonna attach it to my um, skirt. So right side, this is wrong side in this case, to the right side. 
I'm trying to match it with the back seam, okay? So I place it this way and pin. And I find the midpoint and pin to as well. So I'm going to stretch so that the, the skirt fits to the elastic band. That's all for this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel to stay notified on new videos. It's free to subscribe and it's useful for, this, for the YouTube algorithm and it also helps my channel because it helps me so 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 much. So please do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.